Welcome back. In this uh, lecture, I want to show you how to do a classical construction of a golden rectangle. What's a golden rectangle? A golden rectangle is a rectangle that has sides in the ratio of the golden ratio. So the length, the longest side of the rectangle, divided by the width, the shortest side of the rectangle, is equal to capital Phi. 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So a classical, classical constructions of these planar um, geometrical figures goes back to the ancient Greeks. The idea of a classical construction is to construct this figure using just a straight edge, which is like a ruler without the markings, and a compass. A compass is that um, device that has a point that you can draw in a circle off of this point. Okay, fix the radius and you can draw an arc or a circle. So a lot of, um, of these common uh, figures can be drawn using a classical construction. And uh, the idea of classical construction was also very popular during the Renaissance and after. Um, not so popular these days because we have computers and we can just program the computer to draw anything we want. But nevertheless, it's, it's kind of a fun thing to do, particularly for um, students, uh, secondary school students, even university students. Okay, so how do we construct a golden rectangle? Uh, we start by constructing a square. So by classical construction, using a straight edge and a compass, you can construct a square. So I won't go into that here, because our goal is really the golden rectangle. So you start by constructing a square. Um, we just call the sides of unit length. So we put a 1 on the sides. Then the next step is to draw this red line here. This is from the midpoint. So first you have to find the midpoint of this bottom uh, uh, side of the square. There's a classical construction using the compass that allows you to find the midpoint of any line segment. I won't talk about that here. So we assume that you can find the midpoint. And then you can use your straight edge to draw the line to the uh, opposite corner here. Okay. Then we have Pythagorean's theorem. So we have a right triangle with a side of 1 and 1 half. So 1 squared plus a half squared is 1 plus a quarter is 5 quarters. And we take the square root to get the hypotenuse. So we have a square root of 5 over 2. So you see the reason of drawing this line segment is to introduce the square root of 5. The golden ratio is the uh, square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. Okay. So what do we do next? Well, we can put our compass point here at the midpoint of, this, of the bottom uh, uh, side of the square. We can uh, make this line segment the radius, okay, make that the radius, and then draw the arc. So we can use the compass to draw this circle, arc of a circle, okay. And then we can take our square side and use our straight edge to extend the side all the way to the arc, okay, all the way to the arc. And then what do we get? Well, this length here is square root of 5 over 2, and this red line at the bottom here is also square root of 5 over 2 because it's the radius, right, it's the radius. And then this total length, 1 half plus root 5 over 2, is 1 plus root 5 over 2, which is the golden ratio, right? So now we've drawn a bottom uh, line that has the length of the golden ratio. All we have to do now is complete the square. We need to draw a perpendicular line to this uh, bottom line, either perpendicular to this line, which you can do in classical construction, or parallel to this line, which you can also do in classical construction. So we draw the line here up. 
and then we draw the top line over using a straight edge, and we have a rectangle. And this rectangle then has a length 1 plus root 5 over 2 and a width 1. This is a golden rectangle. So this is the classical uh, construction method of the golden rectangle. Um, kind of fun, okay, just for fun. Okay, in the next lecture then we'll use this golden rectangle to uh, show, I will use this golden rectangle to show you some very interesting uh, and very interesting figure. Okay, I'll see you next time.